Hi, the Lord bless you. Welcome to Kingdom Upgrades. I am your ambassador, Dylan. Let's connect here where the kingdom evolves into the realm of reality. Manifesting into culture where glory becomes tangible, the place of rapid transformation within transition. Come on, meet me here where there is growing excellence, I said in glory. The Lord bless you all and thank you for tuning in. Kindly do me a favor by liking and sharing if you are blessed, okay? Because sharing is caring. If you are blessed and you care, share that others will be blessed also, okay? Because when we really don't interact with the page or the content, um, we cannot get past the algorithm because it's only by way of interaction with the page or the content that the video can go out and other persons will be able to see and be blessed okay so by this many will be blessed as well as be motivated to grow in their walk with the lord so we're on here and we're looking at discipleship on set discipleship on set is to help us literally grow and have an understanding of our position and who we are in the kingdom of God. Help us to be effective. Because Jesus preached to crowds. But you know what? He had 12 disciples. Because his disciples, their disciples are adherent, are adherent to their teacher. So they pardon the obedient teacher. So Jesus had disciples, but he was preaching to the to, preaching and teaching to crowds. What am I saying to us here? If you're a part of the kingdom, it is important that you be discipled. When Jesus was preaching and teaching to the crowds, he said, the disciples asked him why he's preaching and teaching in parables. And he said to them, it is given to you to know and understand the mysteries of the kingdom. So for us to be effective, it is important for us to have an understanding of the mysteries of the kingdom. So we have to have an understanding of the parables, okay? Because they are mysteries literally that are there only for those who are in the kingdom or of the kingdom that they will be able to rightly divide it, decipher, and understand, okay? So Jesus told his disciples that, that it is given to you to know, okay? So we are in Matthew chapter 20, sorry, Matthew chapter 13, and I'm going to read from verse 24. We're looking at the parable with the weeds among wheat. Okay, so let's jump on on this for a moment here. Verse 24, Jesus gave them another parable to consider, saying, the kingdom of heaven is like a man who sowed good seed in his field. But while his men were sleeping, his enemy came and sowed weeds resembling wheat among the wheat and went away. So when the plants sprouted and formed grain, the weeds appeared also. The servant of the owner came to him and said, Sir, did you not sow good seed in your field? Then how does it have weeds in it? He replied to them, An enemy has done this. Okay? The servant asked him, Then do you want us to go and pull them out? But he said, No, because as you pull out the weeds, you may uproot the wheat with them. Let them grow together until the harvest. At harvest time, I will tell the reapers, first gather the weeds and tie them in bundles to be burned, but gather the wheat into my barn. Okay, here, the kingdom, he was making reference to the kingdom. The kingdom Okay, in parable, it is a man who sowed like a man who sowed seed in a field. And while 
when he saw the seed in the field and he saw a good seed mind you the the men there meaning the people there they were sleeping and while they were sleeping their enemy his enemy came and sowed weeds okay resembling wheat amongst the wheat okay so they resemble wheat but they weren't wheat they were literally weeds so his servant saw that after the plants sprouted up and formed grain so the, the servant went and tell the master the owner that what happened see the axe and the master said no he wanted to pull them out the servant wanted to pull them out the master said no leave them by pulling them out now when you can't recognize the difference you might be pulling up the wheat with the weeds so leave them until harvest time because at harvest time what will actually happen the fruit will be pronounced the fruit will be evident you would know it because the wheat will be evident you would see the grain the grain will be well developed so the fruit will be made and will be more evident so you will be able to differentiate so he said leave it but at that time he would instruct the reapers who are the angels to god to first gather the weeds tie them into bundles to be burned but gather the wheat into my barns what actually is happening here it is saying that in that sleep to sleep or sleeping here represent spiritually asleep not awakened spiritually not alert not awakened spiritually but you're asleep you're slumbering that you could not have recognized or even see identify the weeds among the wheat you could not have differentiated because you can't see you didn't observe that there were some who were wheat and some were weeds and you could not have tell the difference but it is not until the time of harvest that there will be a distinction between the weed and the wheat okay so when they were while they were asleep weeds were sown but they have not recognized them because they were spiritually asleep they were asleep spiritually and they weren't spiritually awakened so they could not differentiate it get it so what we know actually those who farm can tell weeds would always come up among the young plants and if you try to pluck up or pull up the weeds while the plants are young there they can actually pull them out because they are all they go on there and they're entangled around the root there on the ground their roots became began to get entangled so you can pull up the young plant at the same time so it is better to leave it and we know too that weeds would stifle the young weeds would stifle the young plants okay and kill them choke them okay so the reality is jesus positioned himself as a teacher because he was discipling and he was teaching about his father's kingdom but he was teaching to crowds and while he was teaching the crowds they were those who were there who were there because of him they loved him and they want to be with him and there were those who were there because they wanted to participate in what he had to offer or for what they could have received from him okay so he preached the crowds so they were among the crowds they were those who were weeds and those who were wheat and it's the same thing today so we have to pay rapt attention here in the crowds they were weeds okay <clears throat> so the interesting thing now is those who are interested in him because even now and my advice to us is to desire jesus desire the christ desire him because everything that we so need in this dispensation is best preserved for those who would desire him so whatever 
is to present it to be presented in this dispensation it literally preserved for those of us who would desire him so my advice to us is desire him desire the Christ okay don't be there for what you can receive but desire him the person of him who he is desire him not what you can get shift the paradigm amen let it paradigm. let it be a shift in the paradigm so desire him that is my advice to us presently because everything that we would so need in this time is secured and preserved and wrapped up in him let's look at colossians 3 3 for you died to this world and your new life your new real life is hidden with christ in god so your new life is hidden with christ in god is wrapped up with christ in god okay so have an understanding that in this hour we need to have a revelation and an understanding first and the revelation of our new life okay are, are of great importance to us so we need to have a revelation of our new life okay that is individually this is becoming more personal this is individually right to be able to relate properly collectively because if you don't have a revelation individually you cannot relate collectively it is difficult for you to relate collectively that's why there is so much fighting and bickering among churches and church people because individually there is a there is something that is lacking a good understanding and revelation of our, of our life in christ and what great importance it is to us individually and then collectively so because the understanding is lacking there there's always bickering and problems and competition and contending contention whereby there's supposed to be love that men will know that he are his disciples so discipling being disciple is very very important for us okay because accepting christ is excellent okay to continue in him requires an understanding of who he is because intimacy along with understanding intimacy would lead you into a better understanding okay and then you will be led into revelation so when you have when you're intimate your intimacy that is why the relationship is important because everything springs forth from your relationship with God so it is your intimacy with him that will bring you into understanding and that will lead you into revelation because revelation is a spirit revelation is a spirit when your life is blessed with revelation you become a receptor of revelation and you become a perpetual blessing come on that's it so that you will be blessed with revelation that your lives will be blessed with revelation okay which is the revealed christ so revelation reveals christ literally so when you when you walk in revelation there is a place of the revealed christ so we will continue to walk in truth okay because presently we have not gotten the whole thing straight we have gotten half of what we desire to know but for you to get a whole the fullness of the superabundance it is important that you continue in the vine okay intimacy is important let's look at john chapter 1 i'm going to read um from verse 17 just verse 17 for as the law was given through moses but grace the unearned undeserved favor of god and truth came to jesus christ so the law came to moses but grace and truth came to jesus christ so for us to have a understanding of the fullness of the superabundance of his grace we have to continue in him 
It's not one safe, always safe. Your relationship is important. You have to continue in him. Let's read from verse 16 through to 18. For out of his super, sorry, for out of his fullness, the super abundance of his grace and truth, we have all received grace upon grace spiritual blessings upon spiritual blessing favor upon favor and gift heap up upon gift gift heap up upon gift and that can only happen as we remain in him okay because when we get an understanding about gift gift and calling is without repentance you can have a gift you can be operating in disobedience but your gift will still function because it would not be taken from you but in this season there is a set up whereby the grace of god the anointing the oil with the gift is what will make the difference the anointing along with the gift is what will make him make the importance is what will be important and will be effective we would see gifts dissolve like fade out because if you're functioning in your gift without no anointing or no oil you gotta go and fill your oil Fill your lamp with oil. Get your lamps filled. Because there will be such a distinction, not very far from now, that you will know definitely what is happening. Okay? Because gifts are there, but we must submit ourselves and yield our lives for the oil to come into operation. That is the anointing. So we see that for... The law was given through Moses, but grace, the unmerited, the unearned, sorry, undeserved, unfa a favor of God, and truth came through Jesus Christ. No one has seen God. His essence is divine nature at any time. The one and only begotten Son, that is the unique Son, who is the intimate who is in the intimate presence of the father so he is the example okay he has explained him and interpreted and revealed the awesome wonder of the father so what is the word of god saying here to us it is only the unique son so we have to stay connected to the unique son in this hour to have the revealed Christ because Christ cannot be revealed where he is not loved and appreciated you cannot be treating Christ anyhow and expect him to identify with you you might be identifying with him but it is if he is identifying with you that is the problem so if we need him to identify with us or be where we are, wherever we show up. It is important that we stay connected to the vine. Okay? Because he is the express image of the invisible God. Okay? Because we have not received the whole. So we need to stay connected to the vine okay and that is staying connected to christ in this hour the lord bless you shalom shalom this will be continued